Hi guys, good morning. It is the morning of Friday, August 28th, 2020. And I am just waking up. It is like six o'clock in the morning and we have to be at the hospital at 7.30. <sighs> Surgery is scheduled for 10 o'clock, but Today is D-Day, or should I say B-Day for a baby. We are so stupid excited, mm -hmm. and I'm never really up this early <laughs> unless something is happening where I'm like really, really excited, and I have just been waiting on this moment. I was like, let me do a little bit of vlogging, bring you guys along with me because it's just such a huge moment, right? So I'm like, I gotta have my people with me. Um, I'm talking quietly because my husband is still sleeping. Uh, actually, everyone is still sleeping. My mom is here. She got here late last night. So she's still sleeping and, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm gonna just jump in the shower real quick, get this last pre-surgical wash done. And then we are going to get all of our stuff together. I do have my hospital bag already ready pretty much for the most part I have my hospital bag there and then I have my um little lounging pillow here for little Farah when she well maybe when she gets here and uh if she likes it it'll be there for her um we may do there may be breastfeeding there may not be breastfeeding I'm not really sure yet um, because I have to see if these puppies are going to work today. <laughs> I'm not really sure, but we'll figure it out. Um, but I'm going to get together the last little bit, take my shower, get the last little bit of these toiletries together and, um, yeah, get, get my clothes on because I ain't got no clothes on right now. Going to get my clothes on, get my hair looking somewhat decent. I washed it yesterday and that's why it's looking like hot mess and it's not laying down the way I want it to but it's nothing that a little bit of a little bit of um gel can't fix so um that's pretty much where I'm at with it but yeah so I'm gonna go ahead and get that stuff done and then report back and we should be good to go here in a little bit all right hey guys I'm back and I'm officially done with my shower I uh, had to go ahead and use my pre-surgical wash this morning, same thing as last night, getting myself all together, and I feel dry as all get out. I feel super ready, um, but you know, it's kind of funny because I had to remind myself like not to put anything on afterwards, and y'all know that I want to put my smell goods on, my lotions, all that stuff, so it's a little difficult, so I can't do it, but it's all good. Um, Whew, I'm a little bit um, long-winded right now just because I've been kind of moving around. I'm still trying to cool down from that hot behind shower I took this morning. So that's kind of where I'm at right now. But um, I actually want to show you guys something real quick. I had to do some moving around in our room. So between my husband and I, we kind of set up the space for our little baby. So I want to show you guys the space really quick because it's super, super cute. So let me flip this around right view. So this is pretty much where she's going to be, our wonderful unironed <laughs> baby elephant backdrop, and then her little bassinet. So what we originally wanted to do a crib, well I wanted to do a crib, but it just wasn't going to fit in the space. So it looks like we are going to go with the bassinet. That's what our mom got us there, and so um, that's where she's going to be chilling for a little bit. So this is her little space within our space. So we should be getting the um, nursery together soon. So I had to change a lot of things around. So that's why my background is going to be looking different <laughs> in my videos. Um, but, oh, let me take a seat because I'm like, I feel like I'm gasping for air here. But um, yeah, so it is like, let's see what time it is. It is... Wow, it's 7 o'clock, so we have like 30 minutes to get to 
uh, the hospital. Say hey, boo, you're on camera. Hey, boo, I'm on camera. <laughs> so we're just getting ready. Um, for the most part, I think I got everything. I think I got my hospital bag. I think I got everything I need. So um, I'm going to go ahead and get ready to let this dog out, feed these fish, and go upstairs and give my mom hugs and kisses so we can push out. So I will try to vlog as much as I can today. It's going to be obviously extremely challenging. So I'm going to need to pull on some folk to help me <laughs> vlog a little bit. Um, so that way we can make sure we get this day fully documented for you guys. And you guys can really just see the whole experience really from our eyes, from our perspective. So um, I'm going to go ahead and head out real quick. And then I'll see you guys in just a little bit. You know, the story of my life is, it seems like no matter where I go, I'm always running late. I just didn't think that the day that I was giving birth, I would also be running late, especially because we were gonna be there three hours before my surgery, but voila, it has happened. All right, so we are on our way now to labor and delivery. We are running late, which is the story of my life. Um, we're running a few minutes behind, but it's not like super terrible. So hopefully it'll be easy peasy. Um, we'll still be there like way before the surgery time. So, um, you know, just got to do the, the surgery thing. Got to wait, which is always exciting. We're just anticipating our sweet princess's arrival today. We've been getting uh, all kinds of calls and sweet messages from everybody, so we definitely appreciate everyone's love and and well wishes. So anyway, we're going to get ready to head on in here shortly, and hopefully we'll keep you posted. I'm not really sure what like the policies are for like filming and stuff like that in the hospital, so I'm going to try to get as much footage as I can that they'll allow us to have. So, um, if you don't see that much in the hospital, that's why. So, um, try to be better at vlogging even when I'm going under the knife. <laughs> I'll see you guys in a little bit. Say bye, boo. Bye, boo. <laughs> Actually, see you later. I don't say bye. Okay. Okay, I'm sorry. See you later, guys. <laughs> Walking out on faith, bro. Faith right. <laughs> we playing no games out here in these streets. All right. Okay. I just got to make sure my pants stay up. Oh, I forgot I got to put my mask on, too. Let's see. I just saw it. I don't play no games. These pants are real funky. They're gonna try to like fall off your girl. So I'm gonna try to. <laughs> hell would you wear? I tried to tie it as tight as I could and then put the shirt over so it would. <laughs> so it would form yeah. over it. So I gotta hold on to that real quick. <laughs> Big old stomach. Okay. All right. Okay, here we go. All right. You got, should I bring the pillow and you get everything else? Okay, just to make it easy. Thank you kindly. All right. Okay. 
Okay. I'm just gonna walk a little bit this way so I can get out of get out of view here so I can record. But we are I'm officially outside of the women's pavilion right now. And huh, fortunately we weren't as late as I thought we were gonna be. I thought we were gonna be like hella late. But it's not really that bad. So thank God. So I'm just waiting to check in. Sorry, y'all. It's like everything I do, I gotta like catch my breath real quick. Um, but just waiting on my husband to get all the stuff out of the vehicle. I got my handy dandy lounger here. Oh, I'm not trying to give y'all no boob shot. Hang on. My little lounger for the babe. So she has it all. And uh, she can come in this world nice and comfortable, you know. Once she gets acclimated, and she can be like, uh, what is this new place? She'll at least have a nice, comfortable pillow to lounge around in. If they will allow that, I don't know. I've never been through this process before, so I don't know what they allow. But, uh, yeah, so just looking forward to an awesome delivery and all that stuff. So I'm going to get ready to head in. I see my hubby coming around the corner, coming around the bend. And you guys pray for me that my pants don't fall down while I'm making my way through the hospital. So, <laughs> I will see you guys later. So shortly after I shot that, we checked in and wound up going into a private room where I had blood work done and Farrah got suited up. As soon as that was finished, we walked right over to the operating room. Yeah, push it hard. Okay. Let everybody know you're about to have a baby. <laughs> good, good job. Yay! <laughs> We're gonna have a baby. Oh my gosh, you guys are so cute. <laughs> I love it. We're so extra. Oh, it's worth it. It's so y'all, here is where it got absolutely real. It was now time for the C-section. So they basically gave me some medication to numb my body from the waist down. And I was feeling extremely woozy, as you can see, and slightly nauseated. But you know what? Um, once I went through that, the rest was pretty much easy peasy. And in 15 minutes, she was pretty much here. So this is her making all of her cute little crying noises. Get all that nasty stuff out. Yeah, get it out of there, little one. It's not nasty stuff, actually. <laughs> I will never forget when I heard her cry for the first time. Farrah was actually sitting right by my side, and when we heard her for the very first time crying right when they pulled her out of me, it was such a moment, and we were, like, looking at each other with our mouths wide open, like, oh, my gosh, she's here, she's here. And during this time, I was in the background complaining to the nurse about how I was feeling nauseated and had a horrible headache. So that would be my voice in the background you hear. The funny thing is about this particular situation, I pretty much didn't really remember this part. Um, I remember when they switched me over to the uh, stretcher so that way I can be transported to my room. But this particular moment, it's sort of in and out for me. So I'm really grateful that there was uh, footage that Farrah was able to provide me so that way I could have this for keepsakes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, beautiful. I'm gonna leave it like that for a little bit and I'll try to get it to rest. Okay. Both of you little humans. You're so little. Mm -hmm. We're gonna grow and eat us out of house and home. 
You're right. It's all right. You got gotcha. you. I got your nip slip on here too. <laughs> if you post that, views. Out the wazoo. Mm. Hey, little one. That's kind of like a comfortable place. You kind of know that place. Why are you looking over at your mama right now? Hmm? I know you keep seeing me pulling this thing over there. It's a camera, it's a phone. I just want to get some pictures. So it goes without saying that I've never had a child before. So I didn't know how this process worked. Um, I was definitely very afraid, especially because she was so small. She was actually six pounds, four ounces when she was born. So I felt like, you know, just dealing with her, I had to be extremely delicate. So this is me awake, even though I look asleep, just trying to care for her the best I can. Okay, so remember when I told y'all that I'm a really horrible vlogger. I meant every last word of that because this is like what day three technically and this is like the first time that <laughs> I've actually personally vlogged with you guys and I feel terrible because we've honestly been so busy running behind our little human <laughs> and everything. It's just it's been a mess and so I apologize. I really should be doing better. <laughs> Um, but just to give you guys a quick update, we are actually about to be discharged here shortly. Um, we have our princess and she is in her car seat. I'm going to bring you guys over there so you can see her a little bit. But she is in her car seat and she's even ready to go home. She's like, listen, I've had enough of this crap. I've been in this hospital ever since I've been born. This is all I know. And I need to see more. I need to see more of the world. So... She's going to come home with us. I'm not saying that she's going to like it even better, but at least she'll be there with us. And um, she's got her own crib. She's got her own digs. Everything is laid out, ready for her. So it's going to be a good time. And you guys have already seen the digs by now. So right now, I think Fair and I are getting ready to check out of here. And we are going to head home and take turns getting some rest because we definitely need it, especially after being in the hospital where you don't get any rest. So uh, it's very necessary. And um, just get her acclimated with the house a little bit, with the dog, <laughs> just a little. And uh, I will check back in with you guys later. So I'll talk to you soon. Okay, it's Sunday. We're about to head out of here. Got my Smurf hat on. Actually, the Smurf hat on white, but there's Rosalie. About to head out. Make sure I got her strapped in right, you know what I mean? It's her first time ever strapping one in this tiny. So we'll see. The nurse will help me out if I'm backwards. Well, she looks fairly comfortable. I know she's snug in there because I made sure of that, you know what I mean? The UPS package coming tomorrow. So if everything goes well, we'll get out of here. She'll get her tags off. And she'll be able to run free in the wild. Run free in the wild. Run free in the wild. And all that good stuff. So, hey. I'm excited. Everyone's excited. And uh, we're going to be great. See you guys later. You'll see this in some form. Oh, boy, the beard all over the place. I have my mask on. I need to fluff it. But it's all good. And so it begins. Mm. So I'm like so tired <laughs> but I'm just so happy that we oh can you lock the door I'm just so happy that we made it out and we were like so ready to come home y'all it's not even a joke but it's kind of funny like I felt like I kept forgetting where we were I was like are we still in the city because for some reason I felt like we were in a different hospital in a different city I don't know why I kept thinking that. <laughs> Knowing good and dang well, we're in Tallahassee. I don't know where I was trying to go. I just can't wait to walk in the door and just like smell my house and just be like, oh, I need you right now. I'm probably just gonna go home and take a shower for the hell of it, even though I already took one. I have a thing with showers. 
Don't judge me. So no. So I'm filming right now, so don't say anything crazy. Uh, you know how to edit, no? Yeah, I know how to edit. I just want yeah, yeah, whatever, I don't care. Her first car ride home. Look at that. Look at that. Are we were we supposed to take that hat? The one with the ball? Yeah. They ain't gonna recycle. <laughs> I was like, I didn't, know on I didn't know whether or not that was something. Of all the shit we took, you heard about that hat? No, I was just, I just looked at it and I was like, wait a minute. Uh. <laughs> oh well. It kind of sucks that today's rainy. It's like not cute outside, but at the end of the day. Yeah, we weren't gonna wait on that. We were just like, listen, we need to get up out of here. And that's what we did. So she's safe to go. She's loving this car seat, which is so funny. <laughs> she is definitely knocked out. Yes. Wait, we're gonna get some you're getting some tenders? Why are you excited, Mr. Donaldson? I thought I was going to some tennis. That's, that's a wrong answer. Because uh, <laughs> I have a little human. Aww. There's another me, a girl version of me. Aww. With hey, your I name. You. With your name. Yes. Yeah. 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 The best, the best. <laughs> I don't remember the song I was singing to you last night. Uh, it'll come back. I have plenty more. I wish I would have recorded it because that was such a moment. Aww. And she was loving it too. Yeah. Gonna be a lot of those little ones. Look oh, at, I didn't know you were recording. It's cute little bracelet. <laughs> That's right. Everybody, I wore it to the funeral. You wore it to the funeral? I mean, I couldn't take it off, but I couldn't get back in there. Oh, yeah. That's well, right. I'm back from that. But, mm -hmm. and it was like, man, that, we wanted to ask because we didn't know if you were in the hospital or like what was happening when you were sick. I was like, nah, man, this is... <laughs> if you were sick? Yeah, if you were sick, we were trying to figure it out. We got that boy told me, like, nah, man, is that a little girl? Like, oh, okay, fine, baby, now I'll let you. <laughs> that is so funny. Like, they didn't think about the fact that your wife was pregnant. They're like, yeah. we didn't know if you were in the hospital. Like, we didn't oh, want to ask because we didn't know if you were sick. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. <laughs> so I was trying to talk to my daughter because I was like, um, we're home now, like... We're super happy. And this girl shot a bird at me. Like straight up. I was just talking and I just saw her little finger go up. She was like, I was like, I'm so stunned right now. Like here I am like complimenting you that you didn't have any motion sickness while we were riding. And you just shot a whole bird at your mom. Like how disrespectful is that? And you know, her dad already mistreats me. Now, now she's on it too. I'm starting to think like the two of them are like in cahoots because something ain't right. It ain't right. But the good thing is we're home. So now we get to go in and I'm, all, I'm probably going to like put her in her bassinet because this girl has been knocked out for some time. She did eat not too long ago. So I'll put her in her little bassinet. Maybe let her get some rest get some you are not shooting a bird at us again oh you are so disrespectful you are so disrespectful this is not how you treat the people of youtube here's daddy <laughs> dum 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 the bearded bear oh that, yeah that was all me sorry all right look at that to head on in for the first time the first time i'm I gonna follow dang girl watch out for cakes because that girl just got hit by this door golly hold up let me get my my bag oh all right grab my drink we're gonna get up out of here of course, I'm wearing house shoes, and the day I wear house shoes outside, it rains. Okay. 
We gonna have to waddle in this house now. Huh? Uh, sorry. I'm coming. Okay, come on, boo. I just don't want her walking in front of us and tripping us. Come on. Go on, go. Go in. Come on, go in. Go in. Hey, mama. Hey, cakes. Move aside. We got a little buggy for you. Sorry. Oh. We got a little buggy for you. Okay. I want a buggy. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. I gotta pull this up because I got boobs coming out the end. Get out, Kate. Okay. Yeah, she's head been slumping, but she. Yeah, her head was slumping, so up. that's why I put the pillow on the other side. <laughs> So, uh, hi. Hey, honey bunny. Okay. You're home. Okay, um, get down. Tell them about the crazy life. You're home. So, How you your aunt. Um, huh? So, oh, hi. She wants to talk to you. Hi. Oh, am, are we on phone or is this video? Hello? Hey. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Oh, oh sorry. All right, honey. Go check here. Mm. Oh, I know it's a little weird. I know it's a little weird, but I get you. It's a whole new world. This great new place. I know. There's your sister. There's your sidekick. Mm. Hey guys, myself as well as my brand new daughter and husband would like to thank you so much for watching this birth vlog of ours. We are extremely excited, as you can tell, to be new parents and we just can't wait to see what kind of adventure this brings. So if you guys found this video entertaining and valuable at all, please do not forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and do not forget to leave a comment below. Thanks again so much for watching you guys and I'll see you in the next video.